Swelling in the legs and feet during pregnancy is incredibly common. How do we treat this? My name is Kelly. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist that specializes in swelling and edema. I also happen to be currently about seven months pregnant at this time I'm recording this video. So I'm putting together a series of videos about swelling management during and after pregnancy that I will be putting in a playlist on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and follow along to see when all of these videos are released this year. But today in this video, I'm going to explain foot and leg swelling during pregnancy and the best ways to manage and treat it to help decrease the aching and the pain. Before we jump in, it is always best to check with your doctor or medical provider to get clearance before starting any new self-treatment. But in this video, I'm going to share generally how we treat foot and ankle swelling with pregnancy. Swelling occurs in pregnancy because there is an increase in blood volume and fluid retention with pregnancy, as well as the potential for more restriction in blood flow from your legs back to your heart. So we want to do various things to help support the veins and the lymphatic vessels in your legs to keep the fluid moving upwards and out of the area and to avoid the extra congestion that occurs. So the first thing we want to do to try is wear compression stockings during the day. Compression stockings come in different styles as well as different compression levels and this does matter. Generally, most individuals who just have mild swelling in the lower legs, say by the end of the day they notice it, will note that a compression level of 15 to 20 is enough. This number should be on the box or the tag when you are searching. This is a really mild level of compression and works well to contain just a little bit of swelling. If someone has more moderate swelling during the day, then they may need to increase to 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury of pressure, which is that MMHG that you see. This is a medical grade level of compression. This level of compression is also helpful for those who have more chronic but stable amount of swelling. Say they had a little swelling even before pregnancy, so they notice even more. They might want to go with more of a 20 to 30 um, level of compression. So I will link a few of my favorite brands down below that are considered medical grade, as well as some of the basic ones. Um, I personally have both. Um, I have, so these are 15 to 20. This is a brand called Therafirm. Um, again, just, they have a lot of just really basic, fun cotton stockings that are easier to get on and off. They are a little bit thicker. So if you're like me and live in the north in the winter, um, these are great and nice and comfy and warm. If those are too thick or someone wants something a little more low profile or thin, then I would go with a basic stocking um, that's you know pretty thin. It's it's a compression stocking, but it's not as bulky as a regular sock. And you can get this in a higher level of compression. Now, if you're gonna get the thin ones, you don't have to, but I always get the ones with the have the silicone band at the top, and I always recommend these to my patients because if you don't have the silicone band, they these thin ones tend to roll down at the top. And what happens is they roll down and they cause a tourniquet effect at the top, and that can actually make the swelling worse, let alone also be painful. And so I always get the silicone band if I'm getting these basic ones. These are the 20 to 30, these are medical grade stockings. These kind of fun ones are 15 to 20, so they're a little bit lower, kind of day to day, or if I'm just lounging around the house, those are nice as well. So I have a various different kinds, but again, I'll link some of my favorite brands down below and spell out again the difference between the 15 and 20 for really mild or the 20 to 30, a little more medical grade, um, more moderate swelling. And um, I also have a discount code down below that you can use as well. But going back to it, so the compression will help support the system so that the fluid can't pool down on the feet and the ankles during the day. That compression adds that support. The fluid can't sit there and it has to keep moving. So it's not ideal though to wear the compression garments or stockings at night, just during the day. If you're looking for more in-depth info on compression stockings or leggings along with how to get them during pregnancy, there's another video in my swelling and pregnancy playlist that you can go check out, which I'll link up above. 
Another way to reduce swelling in the feet and the legs during pregnancy is with lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage is a massage-like technique that is used to help guide and stimulate the lymphatic fluid through the lymphatic vessels and out of the area. It is best to try to use your whole hand with a gentle pressure, you know, somewhat firm, but still gentle in an upward fashion to help move or guide that fluid. We want to avoid really deep pressure. Um, some doctors will discourage deep tissue work or massages during pregnancy if there is a risk of blood clot in the legs. So we still wanna keep that really light. And again, you still wanna get clearance from your doctor. But this is a gentle technique that stimulates the vessels right under the skin. If someone has swelling throughout the whole legs rather than just the feet and the ankles, they wanna do a full sequence of lymphatic drainage starting from the abdomen, working their way down the leg to the foot, and then also reversing on the way back up. I do go much more in depth with a step-by-step -step instruction with this um, in other videos that you can check out that I will link down below. I also have printable handouts and resources on my website that someone can get step-by-step -step instructions and diagrams to follow along with for lymphatic drainage and how to do this in the correct way. And I will link that up above and down below as well. Another way to reduce swelling in the feet or the legs is with exercise or movement. The muscles in your body act as a pump to the lymphatic system into the veins. So by pumping your muscles, by stretching your muscles, you can stimulate that system to get that fluid moving through the area. If someone has to sit or lay down for a lot of the day, some of the best exercises are to do ankle pumps, um, calf stretches, going up and down in your toes or pumping the ankles. You can use a stretching strap um, or you can do you know, knee bends and knee straightening back and forth, just moving the legs as much as you can. Ideally, it's great if someone is able to get up and move and get exercising. Um, that way, some of the most popular ways to help with the lymphatics and the fluids. Um, walking is simple, but swimming is another really great option because of the gradient pressure that the fluid and the water provides. So when you're in a certain depth of water, the pressure from the water actually gives the same amount as a compression stocking on your legs. So you're moving and getting exercise in while you're also getting compression. And that gives someone also some nice back relief that we all need, um, relief on our joints, especially in that last trimester. So it can be great for swelling, but also for our bodies in general. So I would say find something you are clear to do so by your doctor, but also that you enjoy doing so that you can be consistent and stay active. And those are the three main ways to help reduce swelling in the legs, the ankles, and the feet during pregnancy. For more information and content related to swelling and edema management, you can check out the rest of my channel and check out the swelling and pregnancy playlist for more specific content. And we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.